How's it guys and welcome back to Ultimate Exotics. So in today's video we're going to be looking at a leopard gecko setup for beginners. Now leopard geckos are the most popular pet gecko in the world and there's many reasons why they are so popular. They make just such excellent pets. At, at Ultimate Exotics we have done some uh, videos on leopard geckos over the last year. Uh, one was a complete care guide and we've also done some other videos looking at some incredible babies that we bred here at Ultimate Exotics. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to set up a reptile display enclosure for your leopard gecko. And this video is basically a guide for those of you out there that haven't got a leopard gecko and that are thinking of getting one for the first time. And we're going to teach you how to set it up and how to make sure everything is correct so that that leopard gecko can do uh, well under your care. And for those of you that already got a leopard gecko, uh, this video might be a good thing to watch and you might see something and you can just double check. Uh, your requirements just to make sure that you're keeping your gecko correct, your leopard gecko correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by looking at all the different uh, products and all the different things that we're going to need in the leopard gecko's enclosure. Then we're going to show you how we set it up and then we're going to talk about all the specific requirements that need to be met in order for your leopard gecko to thrive under your care in its enclosure. So, so the first thing we need to look at when we're setting up our setup for leopard geckos is the enclosure. In today's video, we're going to be looking at our reptile display enclosure, but there are a large variety of different enclosures that you can use to successfully house your leopard geckos. For example, you can keep them in different size plastic containers of the appropriate size in a racking system. You can also keep them in, uh, say for example, a, a reptile desert den enclosure, uh, which is also made out of plastic. Then you can also keep them in an exoterra style glass enclosure or an aquarium with, uh, that's got the right uh, lid on it. Um, so there are a large variety of different enclosures that you can use and they all work as long as you meet the specific requirements that we're going to discuss in this video. We've got to make sure that the temperatures are right, you've got the right hides, the right humidity and then everything uh, your leopard gecko will be happy uh, regardless of what enclosure it's kept in. One of the most important requirements when it comes to keeping leopard geckos is temperature. Leopard geckos are cold-blooded reptiles and therefore require temperature, the correct temperatures in the enclosure in order for them to do well and thrive in the enclosure. Now with leopard geckos there are a number of ways that we can uh, heat them but the most common way and way we're going to use today is a heat pad. Now the temperature on the hot spots of the enclosure which is going to be where your heat pad is needs to be at about 31 degrees Celsius or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this will be their hotspot and then the rest of the enclosure can be at about room temperature which is about 24 degrees Celsius or 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And now that will provide them with a temperature gradient so they can move to the hotspot when they want to, uh, to heat up and then they can move away from it when they've had enough heat. So that is your ideal temperature range for your leopard geckos. So leopard geckos are native to Pakistan, India, Afghanistan, Northwest India and Iran. And they come from uh, quite dry and desert environments in these regions. So leopard geckos enclosure needs to remain dry. So the relative humidity needs to be on the lower side, about 30 to 50%, uh, which is about your normal uh, relative humidity in your home. As long as the enclosure is dry and not wet, your leopard gecko will do well. Now, with that being said, your leopard gecko does need a humid hide. And this humid hide will assist your leopard gecko when it comes time to shed and just as overall health and conditions. Because even though they live in a dry environment, often when they go under a rock in their natural uh, habitat, it can be quite humid and damp under that rock, even though the rest of the environment can be quite dry. So that is important to, uh, uh, that is the important humidity levels that you need to try and achieve. So there's a variety of different substrates that we can keep our leopard gecko on. In this video today, we're going to be using paper towel, but you can also use newspaper. And there also are other options um, of artificial substrates that you can use for your leopard gecko. We don't recommend you use a loose substrate like sand or peat moss or cocoa husk. Anything like that, um, your leopard gecko will be at risk of possibly uh, consuming it and suffering from impaction, which could be lethal for your leopard gecko. So although it might not look as attractive in your natural, naturalistic display enclosure, newspaper and paper towel um, are definitely your safest options and that's what we recommend to use for your leopard gecko as a substrate. When it comes to lighting for your leopard gecko, leopard geckos are nocturnal geckos, which means they are active during the night. So this means that no specific lighting is required for your leopard gecko to do well in its enclosure. The most important thing is the temperature um, and the heat mat that you're going to provide. 
but a light can be, be provided and we do like to add a nice LED light which uh, act, uh, basically replicates a daytime light in your uh, leopard gecko's enclosure. The important thing is that light must go off at night so we keep it on for about 10 hours a day and it provides basically a day um, night cycle and also the light just illuminates the cage it makes it look nice as well during the day if it's in your room or your home but it is important that that light goes off at night okay so here we have all the products that we're going to be using for our leopard gecko setup uh, like we've been talking about the heat pad uh, these foil heat pads that are safe to use inside the enclosure and they provide a perfect temperature they're basically a heating cable that is then put inside this foil uh, pad and they are safe they don't get too hot the the maximum temperature they reach is about 34 degrees celsius so it is safe to use in the enclosure if you have a glass tank you can then uh, stick it underneath the glass tank but uh, in this uh, case we have this melamine reptile display enclosure if you had to put the heat pad um, underneath the enclosure there wouldn't be enough heat to get through to create uh, the hot spot that you need to get but these are perfectly safe to use inside the enclosure we then have the reptile calcium which uh, is very important and this also has a vitamin d3 so this is a complete uh, mix so it's basically a calcium vitamin supplement mix and that works really well we use this on all our leopard geckos here at ultimate exotics uh, then we have the led light we we're talking about this will just illuminate the cage, giving it um, a, just a nice daylight, uh, which we will then turn off at night. If you can, you can put this on a timer and it makes your life much easier. Um, so it can just come on and go off automatically. Um, we just set it for about 10 hours um, on during the day and then off at night. Then we just have some nice decorations, which are always good to add to the enclosure. Uh, these just, they visually look nice and they also add a uh, work as a hard uh, which helps give the, your leopard gecko a bit of um, security. Uh, then we have our moist hard. Now this can be as simple as a plastic um, ice cream tub with a hole cut in it, or you can use these nice naturalistic hards. Um, so the lid comes off here, and we're going to put this uh, peat moss and make sure it's just slightly damp. You don't want it to be wet, just slightly damp, and we're going to fill it up um, just about halfway in there and then put the lid on and that will basically add as a nice um, moist hard for your leopard gecko he can go in there when he needs some more humidity or whenever he feels like he needs to uh, then for our substrate uh, we are using a paper towel uh, the, and the paper towel we're using because obviously uh, we don't want to use any other substrate that they could possibly consume and suffer from impaction it might not look the best there are other options like uh, astroturfs and um, other types of carpets um, and other artificial substrates uh, people also just use newspaper um, but this is uh, a nice simple option easy to clean and affordable then we have just our naturalistic um, water bowl and calcium bowl this is going to be the calcium bowl for the mealworms then we have another hard this is going to be on the warm side so we're going to put the moist hard on the cool side and the dry hard um, which is just this resin cork bark hard uh, we're going to put this hard on the uh, warm side and then yeah so uh, then there is just a hygrometer thermometer just to check double check the temperature and humidity in the enclosure and then we have a temperature controller which is definitely recommended um, to connect up to your heat pad um, and that will just basically control the temperature you can set it at your 31 degrees celsius and it, this device will turn on and off your heat pad and maintain that hotspot at the perfect temperature that you need for your leopard gecko. So not a lot of not a lot of stuff that is needed. Leopard geckos, their setup is quite simple. This is a very nice setup. It just looks uh, looks really attractive, and it's going to be really nice for the leopard geckos. So we're going to show you now the reptile display enclosure, and then we're going to show you how we put all this in the enclosure and set the enclosure up for the leopard gecko. Okay, so here we have our medium reptile display enclosure. Now this is a perfect size enclosure for uh, a leopard gecko. This enclosure is about 60 centimeters long, 40 centimeters deep and 40 centimeters high. So it's about a two foot uh, enclosure and it's got a really nice size. Um, it's got the air vents at the back just for some air circulation and then just the sliding glass in the front. So it makes a really good display enclosure and it looks really attractive when it's all set up. So let's start by putting in the heat pad putting in the light and then we're going to add all the other stuff after that so let's get going
Okay guys, so we've installed the heat pad and the LED lights and you can just see how cool it looks and how smart this cage is going to be. There's the heat pad. Uh, it's safely tucked away on, on the one side so that it can create a nice heat gradient. And we're going to maintain this heat pad at about 31 degrees Celsius, which is about 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And then he can move, the leopard gecko can move away from this heat pad uh, when he's had enough heat. Um, so you can see there's a, there's a really good temperature gradient there. And the rest of the enclosure is going to just be at room temperature. And then there's our LED lights, which we're just going to have on for the day and uh, at about 10 hours and then off at night. So then uh, he can have his day night cycle and he'll come out at night and probably hide away uh, during the day. But you can see really nice and smart. So now we're going to uh, do all the fun stuff. We're going to get the paper towel in and his hard and bowls and get it all set up. And then we're going to get um, the nippy gecko that's going in this enclosure and we're going to have a look at him. Okay guys, so we finished setting up the leopard gecko enclosure and just look how smart this looks. It is simple, it is effective and it is going to be perfect for this leopard gecko. Uh, so it looks really nice, we're really happy with it. Uh, we just need to add our calcium here, that is pretty much the last step. And then we'll put a few mealworms in his bowl. Uh, so we just do a little light sprinkle of calcium, not too much. That should be perfect. So then he's got everything he needs there. Uh, you can see over here, there is his moist hard. I put it on the cool side because I find on the warm side, the moist hard dries out really fast. Some not, nice peat moss in there, uh, peat moss, and it's just nice and damp. And so that's gonna be his nice um, humid hard. And then uh, we have our, just our decorations, our fake plants and this uh, nice bonsai decoration here. And again, that's just going to add as a bit of a hard bit of security and it just looks really attractive. Then we then have our cork bark or resin cork bark hard. And this is over the heat pad on the warm side. And this is going to be now his warm hard. So when he wants to heat up, he's going to go this side. When he wants to cool down, he's going to go that side. Uh, so he has good sense of security during the day. He can choose where he wants to be. He can choose his temperature and choose his humidity. And then again, the nice naturalistic water bowl and his calcium dish. And that's going to have the that calcium dish is going to have his mealworms in there. And then the paper towel as a substrate, which is a very safe substrate. It's affordable, easy to clean. Uh, leopard geckos are clean geckos. They're clean reptiles. And they often go to the toilet in one spot so you're going to find that you'll probably go to the toilet in the corner of the cage there somewhere and uh, the cage it's very easy to clean so you can as he goes to the toilet you can just change the paper towel and then it's good to go again but overall um, an attractive setup it just looks really smart and your leopard gecko is going to do really well in something like this so let's go get the leopard gecko and put him in his new enclosure okay and here is the leopard gecko that we're going to be adding to this enclosure he is just such a beautiful tangerine eclipse leopard gecko. Um, so he's pretty much, or so, should I say she, it's a girl. Um, she is a sub-adult. So she is about six months old, this one. She has grown nicely. And this is going to be her enclosure going to her new home. And she is just so beautiful. And I'm sure she's going to really enjoy this enclosure. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing us set up this leopard gecko enclosure and you can see how simple and how beautiful it is and how attractive something can look uh, or like this can look in your home and you can really enjoy it and your leopard gecko can enjoy it and you know that your leopard gecko has everything he needs to thrive in this enclosure and do well under your care. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep well. Cheers.